Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Deja if this is your very first time here. So before we get started, if you guys haven't already, please go ahead. I know it's early, but go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are new and you want to be a part of the family, make sure you go ahead and click that subscribe button. We are on the road to 200 subscribers. Every click counts and I would love to have you here and be a part of my YouTube journey. So for today's video, I'm very excited about it. I've been prepping and preparing to do this since a little bit before the new year. So we have a like new beauty, skincare, makeup type of haul, stuff like that. It is the new year and normally I try to go ahead and get some new products, try out some new things. I'm going to try my best to leave all of the um, items down below in the description box if I can find them, which I feel like I probably should. Um, but I'm going to try my best to leave everything down there. So if it's something that you guys see, definitely go ahead and check the description box for um, all of the details on the products. So let's jump into the video. I have everything all lined up here in order, ready to go. So let's get it. So the first section that we're going to be starting off with today is going to be like skincare. If you guys watch my 3-in-1 um, Get Ready With Me that I posted for my birthday, I mentioned as I was doing my makeup that this year I really want to kind of get more into, you know, the skincare, um, the skincare route. So that is definitely something that I did this year. I'm definitely not done. I'm going to continue, you know, trying out new things. If you guys have, have any um, skincare suggestions, anything that you use as far as like moisturizers, cleansers, toners, anything like that, make sure to go ahead and leave it down below in the comment section i would love to check it out i'm still looking into some things but this is what i have in this moment that are new that i purchased so the first thing that i have is this tula skincare um cleanser it is the cold classic purifier purifying face cleanser um if you guys follow you know any big name um influences stuff they all seem to be you know raving about this product get the people that i follow they say that they genuinely like it it genuinely it genuinely i cannot talk we never start this tula has a bunch of products it was so much stuff on their website i was like oh my god i'm gonna try when i'm gonna try but you know we we balling on the budget over here i gotta buy stuff in increments if you broke like me you know you can't just go splurging all at once um so i got the cleanser first because this is the i feel like to me the most important thing out of anything would be the cleanser so i got this i haven't tried it yet i'm really excited to i'm um, try it hopefully it actually does something um for me and i actually feel like it's doing something for me it wasn't just a waste of like 30 dollars um but there there's so many different influencers and so many different youtubers who have this products and mo nine times out of ten most of them have um discount codes i use face over matter code i believe it was like 10 percent off but there's face over matter there's like naturally sunny there's jalissa yvonne there's so many people who have partnerships with um tula so if you guys want to look more into this company definitely go ahead and look into one of their um one of those subscribers so you could use their code so you could get money off one day i have my own in jesus name so these next items i really feel like i need to mention them even though i didn't physically purchase them these items is kind of what got me into okay yeah i want to start looking and diving deeper in the skincare if you are a um sephora vib you know every year around your birthday time you get goodies i feel like the last few years the goodies that i got for my birthday was really nothing like special or crazy to me i barely ever used it but this year sephora did their thing ooh, with the birthday gift so I don't know if this the birthday gifts are the same everywhere, but pretty much they gave you the little minis of the some of the Laneige um, skincare products line, and I absolutely love them. So you have the Laneige um, Water Bank Moisture Cream. It's really really tiny. It's, it's the minis. Laneige Water Sleeping Mask, which I absolutely love. I love this little thing. And then you have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So it's kind of like a lip balm or well, a lip mask for your lips while you sleep. I tried these out and like I absolutely fell in love with them. Like I'm like, okay, I definitely need to go out and actually buy the bigger sizes. So I decided I'm going to use these first. And then, you know, once I finish the minis, then, then buy them. But I did purchase two, <laughs> well, make, pretty much one and then something else. But I did put, purchase um something out of this line already. But I just wanted to mention these because when I got these products, I was just like, oh my God, this is like perfect. I need these in 
my collection when it comes to skincare so i just wanted to mention these if you haven't picked up your birthday gift yet well it's the new year I, they still have them out i went to the sephora today and it was still out for the birthday gift so definitely choose these i don't know what i don't remember what other options they had but these were so perfect i told my sister to get it for her birthday gift and she said she likes it she even think it's helping with her skin i just wanted to mention these laneige products great so I know I said that I would purchase, you know, all of those Laneige, um, Laneige items once I actually ran out of the little mini sizes, but um, I went ahead and got the bigger size of the um, water sleeping mask. I got the bigger one. <laughs> so this is just like, whoo. So you take it off the box and it is obviously a lot bigger than the mini one. I love the packaging of this so the bigger size is 2.3 fluid ounces and this is the shade lavender like i just absolutely love why well, i didn't open it yet but you're only supposed to use it like once or twice a week but the days that i do use it i do wake up in the morning feeling refreshed i feel hydrated my skin feels so soft and just like ready to conquer the day um pretty much even though you gotta wash it off but it just it really does what it says it's going to do so i saw jackie i when she did her review of the um Fenty Powder Foundations, she mentioned the Belief um, Moisturizers. They have a True Cream Moisturizer, and then they have like an Aqua Bomb Moisturizer. Ooh, keep dropping stuff. So this is the bigger one. Again, once I run out of the tiny one, I'll actually crack this open. And then next for like skincare... So like I said, I absolutely fell in love with like the little mini sets of the Laneige products. So it kind of had me go searching through all the other skincare items that they have. So I went ahead and actually picked up the physical lip balm, the one that you would put on during the day if your lips was chat. Um, so this is what it is. The lip glowy balm. And this is in the flavor gummy bear. Again, all of their products come in different flavors, so the packaging and the color is going to be different based off the flavor. But it smells really good, guys. I used it earlier. It smells really, really good. And it, it even has like a purple tint, if you guys can see. I don't know if you can see. And then the last thing for skincare is not a physical product. But um, if you watch any beauty influencers, you know, when they do their makeup, they have like these, they be having like these little cute headbands on. I kind of like push back their hair. Um, I always seen the one that had like a little bow and said like OMG. And I've always wanted one. I finally found the site that sold it um, like a few months ago, but they were out of stock. Um, but again, Sephora, you're able to get a lot of uh, goodies and stuff with your points. So I went ahead and found one. They had a little headband. I wore it in, actually wore this in my um, swatches when I did, when, when I swatched the Fenty Gloss Bob Crease. That headband was actually this little spa headband. So I went ahead and picked that up. I already have one, but my mom saw it and she liked it. So I, this, this one is actually hers, but it, it's just the little spa headband. So, you know, if you want to do your facials and pull your head back or do your makeup and pull your head back, or you want to use it as a normal headband right now i live in buffalo it is winter time this is nice and warm and cozy so it's perfect for this type of season too and then it also comes with um a spatula for like your skincare for like your mask and stuff you could just scoop it up with a little spatula so i think that is cute so i went ahead and picked up one of those as well so that is all the products that i have for skincare as i continue to you know buy things and try things out i definitely will share and let you guys know in my videos but that is all i have for now now the rest of this is going to be all makeup. So I guess I'll start in order as you would do your face. You know, we did the skin. Now after the skin, you know, you want to prime and prep. So I'm getting ready to do um drug, a drugstore makeup video. Target was having um a sale on their like beauty items. So I went ahead and picked up the e.l.f. Illuminating Primer Mist. So this you can use as a primer or you can use as a setting spray, which I feel like is like normal for sprays that are primers. But this is just the old version it is drugstore it's very very affordable be prepared to be on the lookout for my drugstore video that will be in there now on to foundations so the, i went ahead and picked up the nars foundation in the soft and the soft matte um during the summer i was trying to like find new foundations and things and i came across the um sheer glow Actually, I came across the Natural Radiant, but the shade that I needed, they didn't have it, but they had it in Sheer Glow. So I purchased it in Sheer Glow, and I absolutely love it. Like, that's what I've been using on, like, my 
makeup videos for like the for as long as I can count. After I did like the Fenty one, the rest of my makeup videos has been me using the Sheer Glow mixed with the Fenty. NARS is starting to become, you know, one of my faves. I'm going to have to start trying to get their other two. They have the Natural Radiant and then there's another one. So I'm going to have to up the Soft Matte one just to kind of prep for um, spring, summertime. I am in the shade Macau. I feel like in the Soft Matte though, Macau um, is coming off a little bit lighter than the Sheer Glow does. But this whole year lately, I've kind of been like... I guess reshape matching myself um the foundations and stuff that I had before they're kind of coming off too light now only because of the fact that I always used to match directly to my face knowing that my face is lighter than like my neck and my chest so I've been kind of having to go and rebuy some foundations so I have to go darker now and I could kind of brighten it back up with my concealers just so everything could be in unison when before everything just matched my face and then when I highlight it I always came off like lighter so this was just like not flowing right so that is my shade but this mainly is stuff that i'm going to be using for the new year obviously you know i'm probably gonna buy more makeup but this is just you know the starter the starter kit for 2021 this foundation is not new to the game at all this used to be one of my holy grails when i first got it i loved it so much like me i have a lot of foundations but when it comes to me buying a foundation like i'll buy it and if i love it like i'll just wear it continuously like i don't go back and forth and in between my other shades it's just like once i wear it i'm wearing it until it's done and then i'll probably go buy something else and then forget that i even had it um so i had the Too faced born this way um foundation when jackie i know went ahead and revamped it to kind of bring out more shades i purchased it what was it like two and a half two and a half years ago when I purchased it originally, I was in the shade Butter Pecan. Again, um, that was a little too light for me overall. So actually, first and foremost, I bought the Estee Lauder um, Double Wear Foundation. I'm not a matte person. As I said before, I'm normally a dry sense, so I don't need super matte. But that Estee Lauder Double Wear was like matte matte like it was just not for me and i was kind of sad because i wanted to try it i thought it looked good to everybody else and then my cousin bought it she did her face and i'm like oh my god it looks so good that was just like when tt wore it i'm just like okay yeah i need i need to buy it so i went ahead and got it first it was a struggle for me to try and find my shade the shade that they was telling me on a shade matcher that i was it was too light and then the shade that i was getting matched with it still was kind of like off so it was kind of like hard for me to find my shade then the shade that i did kind of like settle for i went to go just to swatch and put it on and like it was once i put that foundation on it was just like it was there in that spot like it was hard for me to kind of like blend it out and it was like super super matte and i'm like i don't i don't need a really matte foundation the coverage and everything is flawless but it just was for me it's way too matte and i'm not about to dry out my skin just for a foundation so i returned that and i just so happened to you know look at my old my old part my old makeup collection um in my foundation and i found the Too faced the butter pecan it's like even though it's too light as soon as i put swatch that joint on my face no primer, no moisturizer, no nothing. It looks so good. It looks so flawless. I went ahead and got rematched and I got it in the shade Chestnut. This, y'all, when I first got this foundation, it was, uh, I loved it so much. So I'm really, really happy to have it back in my collection in my proper shade, I should say. This is actually what I have on now. I have this on. I was really excited to, re um, to use it again. So I'm really excited to have this back in stock. In stock like this is a store <laughs> back in my collection. So with that, I also went ahead and picked up the Too Faced Born This Way um, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I had this already, again, like I had the foundation before, but I felt like the concealer just could have been like a little, a little bit, a little bit warmer. Um, the shade that I purchased before with Butter Pecan was Warm Sand. So I went ahead and got this one in the shade Butterscotch, and it is perfect it's exactly what i need like i put the butterscotch and warm sand together um side by side and it's not that big of a difference it's just butter um butterscotch is a little bit more goldeny and that's what i need versus warm sand was like a little bit more beigey so i can use warm sand probably like on top of this in my corner to like brighten up i have this on as well people have been raving about the elf um hydrating camel concealer so i really wanted to try it out and picked up the shade medium beige i got this from target um they they sell it in target and i'm pretty sure they sell it in Ulta too if there's a shade after this i have to look and see i feel like that'd be perfect for me because when i put it on it was like a little light this would really be like highlighting highlighting if i really wanted to brighten up um but i went ahead and grabbed that and then i went ahead and picked up the l'oreal um 
infallible full wear concealer i actually used it to contour today but i think it is perfect but with this a little goes a long freaking way this definitely a must in my collection now oh and this is the shade what shade is this chestnut 425 chestnut that's what i used so if you are subscribed to my channel and you watch you know my videos these next few items is not really new to y'all but it's new in general um i bought these items with the rest of this stuff as i was purchasing it um purchasing it to be a part of the haul but i just had to go ahead and get this review out so i'm not going to spend too much time on this but i would again i got the um fencer pro filter soft matte powder foundation I went ahead and picked up the shade 420. Again, I do have a video on my channel reviewing this powder foundation. I'll link it either somewhere in the cards or down below. So if you guys want to learn more about this foundation, you know where to go. In that same tutorial, you guys saw me use the Fenty Beauty um, Sunstalker Bronzer in the shade Carmel Cutie. I bought this with the rest of this stuff. This is my first time ever using it in that video. Um, So again, I got it in the shade Carmel Cutie. Not going to spend too much time in that, but it will be me reviewing it and me using it. it will also be in the Fenty Potter Foundation. But this is just something that I picked up as well for the new year. And so for these next two items, I really don't need any more eyeshadow palettes. I have like seven or eight but it's like i always use the same one when i bought that jackie i know one i like fell in love with it that's the only one i've really been using so i feel like me buying some more would kind of keep me from using hers all the time every day for my everyday makeup so i went ahead and picked up two eyeshadow palettes from um anastasia beverly hills the first one that i picked up was the modern um renaissance palette i feel like that the colors in this palette would be like perfect for like springtime oh the case is like, I don't want to say velour, velour velvet. That's interesting. I've never had the Jackie Ina was the first palette I've ever had from ABH. So I didn't know. This is cool. I wonder how it'll be when it get dirty, but this is nice. This isn't, this is not new. Like this is old. <laughs> this has been out for a second. It's just new to me. I didn't, you guys, I don't know if you guys can really see the texture, but it has like a velour velvet case. That's interesting. And then the inside, here we are, the colors, you know, over in this area would be perfect for like spring and summer. And then over here would be like great for just like all the all time like neutrals. Ooh. And then I believe all of her pal all of her palettes come with the little, um, the brush, the dual ended brush, what has the packing brush on this side and then the blending run on that side so and then for the second palette i went ahead and picked up the soft glam um two but i got the mini one i didn't get the big one just because i feel like some of the colors i kind of have some of the same colors within all of my palettes so i really didn't want too many so i got the mini one because the mini one i kind of felt like would be like the colors that i would actually like use okay so all of her palettes must be like this guys are all of her palettes like this the velvet and velour type of material that's nice. I never knew that. I'm late. I'm late to the scene. I'm late to it. I'm late to the party. I'm late to the party. <sighs> I know you probably be like Deja. Like you can find this in any of your palettes, but like this, this, these, these colors just scream me. Just scream me. This is what I gravitate to, and I need to stop. I need to start going for something like bold and like brighter and colorful. But like these, like I love neutrals. I love golds. I love like bronze type looks this is me so so i went ahead and picked up two gel lip liners from sephora these were this was my first time ever using gel lip liners and i love them over normal pencil so the first shade that i have that i've been using a lot is in the shade molasses is this i can't where is this yeah molasses so molasses is kind of just like a deep dark chocolate i've been using it but this is retract this is retractable you don't need a pencil or anything. It's retractable. So this is like a perfect brown. If you guys like dark line, um, dark liner for you, like your news and stuff like that. That is perfect. I love the way gel liner feels. Like it goes, it glides on your lips nice and smooth. It blends in with the product perfectly. I prefer gel now over normal liners. And then the next shade I got is Rosewood. So this is a brown as well, but it kind of has like a little red tint to it and then you take it out and it kind of has like a little red tint 
And Fenty was having a sale on some of her items, but I went ahead and picked up one of her Mademoiselle um, plush matte lipsticks. I've seen this, I believe, Naturally Sunny mentioned this shade, and on her it looks so pretty. And again, I'm trying to get into more lip combos, especially like nudes and stuff, so I went ahead and tried this out. Um, it was only like $9 on sale, but I got the shade up to no good. I love Rihanna's like whole design and like vibe it, everything kind of like flows with all of her products no matter what it is so this is the color so i feel like this would be a nice perfect um light nude you either do like a dark lip liner probably molasses and this um lipstick and you want to leave it like that or you can even put a gloss on top of it so so again, if you are uh, OG to my channel, you watch my videos, these items is not new to you. But I went ahead and picked them up around the same time I got everything else for this video. These are just the Fenty Gloss Bomb Creams. I did a whole video on all of the shades, all of the swatches. I kept these four and I returned Fruit Snacks because I just feel like it wasn't doing it for me. I love the color. I thought it was cute. But... It kept rubbing off. It wouldn't stay on my lips. Every time I talked or moved my lips around, it was kind of like disappearing. I feel like I have to keep going back and reapplying it. So I kept all of the shades besides um, fruit snacks. But I do have a lip swatch review on my channel. So I will link that again up, either up in the cards or down below. If you guys want to see the shades of them, which you probably... These drinks been everywhere. You probably did see them. But if you just want to check it out or just watch mine to support, it will definitely be down in there but these are just the shades and this one mob wives is my favorite so last but definitely not least these apparently are supposed to be a great dupe for like the fenty um gloss bombs um the normal gloss bombs not necessarily the creams but uh, this is by maybelline so i went ahead and put up this lip gloss for the drugstore video and this is the shade this is the shade Amber, so it's like this perfect pink nude. This would be so pretty with like a brown liner. Hopefully you guys can see that. It is so pretty. So, so guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I'm so excited to go ahead and start trying out and using some of these products and do, you know, videos and whatnot on these. I know I'm not the only one that, you know, when it's like a new year or a new season, you got to buy, go out and buy, you know, new products and stuff. I can't be the only one. But this is what we have, I guess, for winter. This is for the new year specifically. There may be another one when it comes to, like, summer. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try my best to leave all of the links to all of the items down below in the description box. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out. Again, if you guys have any, have any recommendations for any products that you guys want me to use for the drugstore video, drop that down below in the comments. Or if you guys have any recommendations for me for skincare items, definitely go ahead and drop that down below as well. I will be on the lookout and I would love to hear you guys feedback so thank you so much for tuning into this video if you have not already go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we're on the road to 200 subscribers and make sure you go ahead and turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when i upload next i'm trying to start posting twice a week if you guys didn't peep last week so definitely turn on those post notifications so you can be notified because i'm not going to always announce on my social media platforms if you guys follow me so you know those notifications are necessary so make sure you click it see ya Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful